all right guys welcome back to the channel this is part two uh normally normally you you, you catch a whole video for the day this is part two because uh, i hit the wrong button coming out of the mail drop so i'll post them both today you'll get them both today hopefully you watch them both today uh but yeah pick up where we left off did come out of the mail drop that went pretty flawless i am running a little late to work but i think i'm gonna make it by the time grace rolls through if this truck will hurry up uh, so cancellation on ebay for those that are just tuning in and didn't catch the first one i did have one uh, finally or not finally whatever uh, ultimately i did have one it's been several months a couple months several months since i've had the last one it's not something that generally happens because my hands are the only hands in the pot and the only time I generally make mistakes on that stuff other than being human is when I'm too tired or moving too fast which both situations did present themselves uh, this holiday season so I did find one that unfortunately I had to cancel I did have two other buyer cancellations to uh, yesterday however uh, those don't count against me. This one will, I guess, in some form of speaking. The last one I canceled, I didn't see anything negative happen to me. So I, I possibly, there's nothing negative that will happen with this one. Hopefully, as long as you stay within a certain percentage. I know other uh, retailers or other marketplaces allow you a percentage of cancellation to sales if that be the case with this one as well and it is ebay but if it if, if be the same with this one then i should be more than fine like i said two orders uh in the last video that i woke up to today one of them's just a dollar profit still nice to see go out and uh the other one i sold and I bought an eight dollar, sold at fifty five. So a decent. Oh no, and a third one. Yes, yes indeed. Uh, I, I mentioned two on the first one, but I remember I checked a different marketplace before I came into work. And this one, I believe, I bought at forty dollars and sold at somewhere around one forty five. So. Uh, a, not 100% sure on the math there, but I think there's money. <laughs> I think there's money. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, off to a good start so far today. Did not expand the business at all yesterday. I've really been um, uh, working on getting caught up with the house. I've been working on some self-care. And let's be honest, for those that have been watching... Uh, this time has not been the easiest time for me. However, the house has made leaps and bounds, still has a long way to go. But still, uh, we're making definite, definite, measurable progress there. So I am pleased to see that coming about. Uh, but short of that, there's, you know, this has been a stressful time. So. Uh, not a lot of building the business happening, but as hopefully business doesn't slow, hopefully I get my head back in the game, right? I am coming up on a day off on Thursday. Worst case scenario, maybe at that point, I'll have an opportunity to add some more stuff to it. Uh, but as far as the cancellation goes, it just reinforces the need for inventories at some point now the system that i am adopting and adapting is a rollout inventory uh, which seems to have uh, it seems like it should work at the moment there is enough space to make happen basically what i've done is the totes from the first year i have stopped putting anything in. Uh, I'm only doing new totes at the moment until they drop to the point where it doesn't take any time to inventory. 
and once that towed his inventory, then I put a date on it, and I'm free to use that tote again uh, for another year. And after that, it gets a red light, basically, and I don't put it, you know, a year later, I don't put anything in that tote. So I can stack it for a year, and then I gotta peel it away and see what's left over. Uh, but that way, it doesn't compound the problem uh, of, you know, extended distances uh, of time going through without me verifying the inventory plus uh, by not using by taking them out of service so to speak it limits the mm, why well, I want to say liability but that's not that's not the right word it, it limits the amount of, of error that could have happened during that time frame by letting them uh, filter down to almost nothing before I inventory them, it, it takes a lot less time to do it. So, so far that seems to be working. I have very, very low actual cancellation rate. The, I've spoke a few times about canceling, uh, but that's because I was getting used to a new marketplace that they're, they're on hands when, when a sale happens, it doesn't trigger a on-hand adjustment. So even though the Accounts were right initially I did a whole bunch of business and didn't realize they didn't adjust the count so I did double sell uh, some stuff during that time frame uh, but now that I understand the process with that I have been able to uh, virtually eliminate that uh, from uh, the activities you know from from it happening again uh, short of that I will continue with that, uh, but like I said, I am running late, so y'all have a wonderful day, do appreciate your time, and I'll do my best to upload both sides of this video this evening, and I'll see y'all tomorrow, bye.